Hello everyone, Rankill here and I'm back with a video to show you a detailed fast run to get Lyric's Crown if you chose to do so at the start of a season. Typically the way that I do this is that if you have a four player group, have one person end up going who has the fastest mobility, which I would suggest being a demon hunter or a monk if you can. If you're running this solo, it's probably still even a wash or even slight loss to take this detour if you do this, but it still gives you a crown that you can use to put a green gem in if you do a vault run to get extra gold, or you can even queue it in your Kanai's cube later on. This video is a bit long, but I wanted to actually try and avoid cutting zones and actually just speed up the parts where I was moving through the zones to show you the complete run. I'll show you some tips to know when to bail before you hit dead ends in the same zones, which can turn even typical half hour to 45 minute runs into a sub 15 minute run. I found two ways to do this and one starting is at level one and another is a wait until you get your class movement skills to make the run quicker. For this run, I'm going to be showing getting to level 9 with a Demon Hunter and using Vault to make the run quicker. To compare between the times running on a level 1 Demon Hunter, it took me around 17 minutes to get to Leoric's door, and that was counting some bad RNG in the crypts as well. And However, waiting until level 9 to start when I got Vault, I was able to get just under 14 minutes and save 3 minutes off the run. So let's start the run, and I'll do a commentary over to show reasonings of what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Go to campaign, make sure you're on normal difficulty, and start. So going through here, you can skip these first zombies here in the beginning because you don't need to kill them. You have to kill these zombies here to activate Captain Runford to start the quest. Just basically they spawn in these little dead corpse piles and start there. Once you complete it, you actually don't need to talk to Captain Runford. You just click on the gate to go up to Leia. You go to Leia, you kill these guys, stand by Leia, and move on. Now, a thing that really helps out for these quests is going through and having the skip cutscene bound to a button that you can be spamming constantly. I think by default it's on space, and what you do is whenever anyone's talking, spam that button and it makes the audio really quick, and so you're not sitting there waiting for someone to go through their dialogue. Now this part, you're killing the Wretched Mothers. I killed the first one to activate the quest. Um, you go through on this zone, as long as you follow the road, you'll come across three of them. So make sure that you kill three of them. So here I got to the old ruins, killed the third, then I killed the Wretched Queen. Once you kill this, go back to the old ruins waypoint and go to New Tristram. Talk to Captain Rumford and Leia. She's going to now open the gate for you so you can return back to the old ruins. Now through this part she talks about Adria and whoever and so you should spam the skip cutscene button to make her talk quicker because when she's done talking that's when it opens the stairs to go down to the hidden cellar. Again here you're skipping her dialogue to make things go quicker. This door breaks by itself and you can just skip the zombies here, skip past all the other ones, and enter the cathedral level 1. Now the Cathedral Level 1, there's nothing really special about the zone, there's no tricks or anything else, it's just a matter of circling around, but typically I've found that it is a very linear type. You're not going to really hit too many dead ends on it that are really bad and you have to backtrack a lot. But just look for the uh, blinking checkpoint here. If you notice, if you hold down a movement, it's the force move, you can actually get yourself all the way down on the first level there. So while it's actually fading away from black. Now when you talk to Kane here, don't even wait for him to open the door, just open up your map and go right to town. If you come here later from adventure mode, you might actually still have your town portal and you can use that as well. Now you're going to Hadrig, wait for him to go into the cellar, and then kill all the guys around here which initiates the quest to kill his wife. You also don't need to talk to Hedrick, so technically if you move closer to the door, it'll save you a few steps. Now the Weeping Hollow, there's the road that goes through here, if you notice on the mini-map. It just winds through, but follow the road, and that'll bring you to the cemetery. Now the cemetery and the crypts, there's three crypts that are in there. One of them is going to be the right one, two of them are going to be dead ends. I'll show in this a little bit later, but on this one, this is the shorter one. There's one short one that has a dead end on it. And you don't really know that this one until you actually get to it, so there's no way to avoid it. The next one is that there's going to be one that has either the Matriarch's Bones or the Jar of Souls event in it. 
which I believe this next one was a Jar of Souls event. You can kill the uh, tombstones out here to get an item's uh, speed boost, which will help you move around. So this one, if you notice, I came up and it's a Jar of Souls of event, so it's already going to be not the right crypt. There's also another one showing here. This is what happens when you get to Matriarch's Bones. You see these little, I don't know, bones glowing. But that means that you've come to a zone that has the Matriarch Bones in it, which means it's not the correct one. I got level 10 here, so I'm putting on tactical advantage. So now that this is the right crypt, you just kind of the same thing. You move around until eventually it makes a pretty linear path to go through and get to the end. Just look for the ping on the minimap. Now when you're in the crypt level 2, stand by this door and click at the top corner up here, and you can actually skip over the boss there and go right into the Chancellor's Tomb. Kill the larger skeleton guys so that they don't spawn more little guys. And then kill the Chancellor, stand right by the crown, pick it up, and then immediately Town Portal. You turn this into Hedrig. Now while he's going there, he runs on a big speech about work, 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 but you can actually just spam your skip cutscene button, and he works in the background while you make your way down here, so that basically right as you get to the door, he should finish his dialogue, and then it'll be clickable and open up. Cathedral level 2, again, is trying to break some barrels and, you know, things here to get a speed boost. And pretty much with this one is the same thing. You're going through and you're trying to find rooms that are dead ends, but you're looking for a ping. Typically, it's up in a corner up this way as well. Now, here for rescuing the Templar, you can actually skip past him. You don't have to kill anything, and he breaks himself free. Same with gathering his gear. You don't have to kill the guys guarding it. Just click on the chest and continue on. When you reach up to Jondar and up to the gate, you can spam the skip dialogue and that makes him talk faster so that he knocks down the barrier. Once you kill Jondar, again, spam the skip cutscenes so that he stops doing his speech. Now they're up on the edge, he breaks the second barrier. For level 4, it's always the same zone. You're going to have this perimeter area that goes around, and there's going to be four possible entrances that could go to the center as well. These red circles that are showing here, these are the possible locations for the entrances. Basically, as you move around and you get to the corners, look for a ping on your mini-map. If you don't see a ping, then the zone is not going to be there, so then move on to the next area. Just make around a clockwise or counterclockwise fashion. So once you get back into the Royal Crypts, you can go through again, break some barrier things, Move down, skip the door because you don't need to kill anything that Lyric spawns there, and you've reached the checkpoint. So with that, it was about 14 minutes or so, and it was pretty quick. And during that time, you're still getting pretty decent first-time quest experience. But now when you come back, just make sure that you go back on normal. This I'm showing at level 20. 20 is the earliest level that you can get the crown, and once you rejoin the game, you're going to still have the waypoint. You're at the point, open the door. Kling Scale of the King isn't too bad. You can actually stand for the most part in all of his swings and everything else, and he's not really going to kill you. And once you kill him, the crown will drop for you. And that's it. That's the quickest way to solo get the Lyrox crown at level 20 to help you speed level quicker. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you later.